Hey, this is Politics with Laura. Okay. Joe Scarborough and his wife, uh, Mika Ber uh, Berzinski. I'm sorry, I'm missing her last name. However, the two of them are on the Morning Joe on his show, but also they're married and currently getting a divorce. And oh my goodness, their drama went from behind the scenes to like, bam, in your face. Now, Okay, where do I even begin? I have this video uh, of them. And what I find interesting, they're interviewing Joe Biden. Now, President Joe Biden is not showing his face. He's calling in. He's calling in. So one would think as bad as his um, primary debate against uh, Donald Trump, that he would actually show his face. No. Now, I'm not a strategic planner, anything of that sort as far as within politics, what to do, what not to do. However, I am a voter and I know what I want to see. And if I saw the candidate that may have swayed me to go his way, have a full-blown breakdown, and he's being interviewed on MSNBC or any other platform, I would want to see his face. I would want him to zoom in and not call in. Just saying, as far as my two cent and my little neck of the woods, what I would like to see happen. However, within that, pay attention. Oh, my goodness. Pay attention to Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough because they're there having a low-key fight on na national news, live streaming. And he wanted to play patty cake because she's asking the questions. She's asking hard questions when Joe Scar Scarborough gave him all soft, lowball questions. And look at Joe's Scarborough's expression. Oh my goodness. It was like the two of them are fighting back and forth, but Mika prevailed because she killed two birds with one stone. She knocked out Joe Biden and upset her husband at the same time. Now, let's get straight to her. Just look at him right now. Just look at him. Just look at the way he's looking at her. Okay? It gets better. Question. I have a few questions, Mr. President, and I know you know where I stand. And, and at yet, I have a few questions. First, look at look at Joe Scarborough. How he's leaned in, like, oh no, ah uh ah. -uh. He Joe should be looking at us. No, he's looking at her, like, oh no, I know I know you're not going to do this. Okay, I may have been a little shady in the courtroom, but don't do it, Mika. Mika's like, I am. <laughs> Watch. So it's very simple. No. How can how can you assure the American people that you won't have another night like the one you did in Atlanta? Look at my career. Look at him. Joe was like this. He's holding his hands. He's keeping playing, playing patty cake. Like Mika. How dare you ask that question sitting by the fire? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't want, I'm not laughing at the demise of what's going on behind the scenes. I don't like to see any marriage go up in flames, but this is going up in flames to where everybody can see it. And the question, oh, the question. Oh, yesterday in, 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 in Atlanta, Georgia, can we expect you to do better than that dribble what you did that? Watch. Career. I've not had many of those nights. It was a terrible night, and I, I, I really regret it happened. But the fact of the matter is, mm -hmm. how, how can you assure you're going to be on, on you know, faith that can intervene on your way to go to, you know, work tomorrow? Age, age wasn't, you know, the idea I'm too old. Created over 15 million jobs, 21 million. Oh. Fair use, fair use, fair use within the universe. 
fair use in the galaxy, fair use in the place that I am and around MSNBC, Joe Scarborough. Uh, I'm sorry for your problems. I hope things get a little better. But you listen to what he said. Oh, it was a terrible night. I'm older. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Joe, Joe Biden, what you're saying is not helpful at all. It's my opinion. But look at Joe Scarborough. He went from Holt over there to take his hands and put it over there. He's watch how watch how he holds his hands and keep him, like I said, from playing patty cake. Watch. Insured for the ACA, beat big pharma, relieve student debt for five million people, first black woman in the court. So I, I think I had a significant a significant run, and that's how I'd measure me. Me measure me what I've done. And by the way, in terms of my neurological capacity, I had a physical, a neurological physical as well in February. It's released. I released all my records, all of them, all of them. And I have a neurological test every single day. Try he has a neurological physical every day. Okay. Now, what about a cognitive? Just a thought, President Biden. I'm sitting behind this desk and making these decisions. You know it. Both of you know it. They know it. I'm not bad at what I do. And now, it doesn't mean I never make a mistake. I do. But I'm making those decisions. Mr. President, um, if anybody in my family had a night like Look at him. Joe Scarborough. He's like, you're not even stopping. He went back like this. Uh, uh, I know you're not doing this. You need to stop. Okay, Mika? Stop. No, Joe. <laughs> that, like if Joe had a, my Joe had a night like that, or my kids or anybody, I'd, I'd probably want to do some sort of workup and medical workup and make sure he's okay. Have you been tested for any age-related illnesses, pre-Parkinson's or anything like that that might explain sort of having a night like that where you couldn't finish sentences? <laughs> Look, um... Well, if you have Parkinson's, pre-Parkinson's, not my, Joe, not my Joe, but if anything, if, but if my Joe had a night like that, I would want him to get checked out. Oh, man, Mika. <laughs> Joe Scarborough was like, look, like, just pay attention to his body language. He's like. <laughs> I had before. I was feeling so badly before the debate. When I came back, they, I, they tested me before. I thought maybe I had COVID. Maybe there was something wrong. I had a, an infection or something. They tested me. They gave me those tests. I was clear. So, but look, I had a bad night. But the fact of the matter. Wait a minute. Why did Joe Scarborough pick up those papers when he has a teleprompter in his face? <laughs> He's like, oh my God, Mika softball questions. And he's going off the rails. Joe Biden's all over the place. It gets worse. There is, well, look at what I'm doing. I mean, let me put it this way. If there was something that was wrong that night, it's not like it comes in that's one night and it goes away. That's why I've been out. I've been testing myself, been testing everywhere I go, okay. going out and making the case. The night of that debate, I went out. I was out till two o'clock in the morning that very night. That very night, it drives me nuts, people talking about this. Uh, that very night, I was talking to large crowds. Look at the crowds we've gathered everywhere from Atlanta to North Carolina to Pennsylvania. And look yeah. at the enthusiasm. But it was right after. And where the hell has Trump been? What has Trump said or done except deny and lie about what he's for? Uh, okay, so you have. Yeah, Mika, she's sitting there trying so hard not to laugh. And Joe Scarborough, oh my goodness. Oh. I don't know if they're Democratic or Republic, Republican. I'm not quite sure. But I know. Tonight, 
when they get off air, they're going to be screaming at each other. Uh, if I were a fly on a wall, mm hmm Repeatedly said that all of these people and entities are wrong. And let me go through them. The New York Times editorial board, The Economist, The Ad Atlanta Journal-Constitution, The Boston Globe, Jerry Nadler, Seth Moulton, let me go to Julian Castro, Tim Ryan, David Axelrod, David oh, Remnick, Richard Haas. <laughs> yeah, I know which one you're responding to there. Zeke Emanuel. But they, they're, they're saying that you should step aside. Um, so what is your plan of attack moving forward? My These are pretty big names. To go out and keep doing their big names. But I'm not, I don't care what those big names think. They're wrong in 2020. They're wrong in 2022 about the red wave. They're wrong in 2024. And go with me. Come out with me. Watch, watch people react. You make a judgment. You make a judgment. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm going to have all these foreign leaders here. I've been in contact with the new British prime minister. With the, anyway, look, the, the country. Oh, my goodness. We had all those people who were saying, yo, yo, Joe, step down. You need to step down. But no. Watch, Joe Biden is going to double down in his delusional state. Well, not delusional, well, in his dementia state. Watch. The rest of the world is looking, our allies are looking for U.S. leadership. Who else, who else do you think could step in here and do this? I expanded NATO. I solidified NATO. Ask your brother about it in Poland. I made sure that we're in a position where we have a coalition of people of the nations around the world to deal with China, with Russia, with everything that's going on in the world. We're making real progress. The Biden plan, which got in, in, in Israel for, 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 for the Gaza Strip, is something that was adopted by the UN Security Council. Whether it comes to fruition, it's awful close. We'll see. G7. But look. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to explain any more about what I should or shouldn't do. I am running. I am running. Mm -hmm. and you... Here it goes. Want to stop I, 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 wanted to, I, I wanted to ask you, it's so interesting. You talked about how, you know, you were supposed to lose in 2020. You won. Uh, There's supposed to be a huge wave in 2022. There wasn't. Uh, in 2023, Republicans were supposed to win. They didn't. You could say the same thing about France. Le Pen was supposed to win in 20, you know, two years ago. She ended up getting crushed. Uh, the, the, her, her party, her far right nationalist uh, extreme party was supposed to win yesterday. They ended up getting crushed. I'm, I'm curious, what message do you take from the, the, the French elections and the British elections? Because we keep hearing about the rise of far right nationalist extremism in Europe. But I've got to say, it looks like this past week has been the worst week for far-right nationalists between Britain and France. I'm wondering what you say about that and what message you take to NATO allies this week. Look, Joe, let me, let's get something clear about 20 and 24. Not only were they wrong, I said they were wrong beforehand. I said we were going to win and how we are going to win. I didn't pretend about it. It wasn't like, oh, my God, I was surprised. I was not surprised. I predicted it. I knew what we were doing, number one. Number two, you may remember, I was one of the few people out there publicly saying before the 2022 election, there will be no red wave. There will be no red wave. Because I've been all over the country. I didn't believe it at all. And then in 2023, there were key elections. I went into those races, not every one of them, but a lot of them. And I said we were going to win. Look, we won those. So, Joe, it wasn't just that it didn't happen. I was predicting beforehand it would not happen because I've got a pretty good political instinct and I. And here's the deal. It's not going to happen here this time around. The American public is not going to move away from me as the average voter. And again, I'm here for two reasons, pal. One, to rebuild the economy for hardworking middle class people, give everybody a shot. Just a straight shot. Everybody gets a fair chance, number one. Number two, remember all this talk about how I don't have the black support? Come on, give me a break. Come with me. Watch. Watch. 
I'm getting so frustrated by, by the elites. Now, I'm not talking about you guys, but about the elites. He said a lot. He said a whole lot, but it's quite interesting. The elite want him to step down. But watch him say, I'm not talking about the two of you. He's talking about the black vote. Oh, I got the black vote. No, you don't. The black vote was like, oh, no, 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 Joe, no, no. You put all of that into people that have no citizenship, have nothing to do with this country. You're giving all the resources to about 30 million illegal aliens, and you're giving them the, the, the five-star hotel treatment while you have black Americans, you have white Americans, you have people here that are struggling, that have their, uh, you know, that uh, came here right. They're struggling and you're putting all your efforts into these illegal aliens to be the next Democratic voters. Uh, you lost that one. All oh, the jobs, the jobs are going to AI and getting rid of jobs and also giving jobs that you say that no Americans want. Um, really? Really, Jeff? But. Let him continue putting his foot in his mouth because it gets better. In the party, who they know so much more. Look because at me, these guys yeah. don't think I should let them run against me. Go ahead, announce the announce president. Challenge me in the convention. You know, on Europe, the polls are wrong in France. They're also right, you know, they're, they're, there's no right wave or tide here in America either. By the way, in case you're wondering whether there is one, have you ever seen Trump run away so fast from what he's for? You know he's going to do it anyway. But have you ever, I mean, he's such a liar. This guy, it's all, it's, everybody knows what they're planning to do. And now he's saying, no, 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 no. This guy is going to rip away at a woman's right to choose in a permanent way. This guy is going to make sure that he exacts revenge. This guy's going to destroy democracy. Look at Mika. She's sitting there trying so hard not to bust out laughing. Joe Scarborough is sitting there like, I don't believe this. I'm trying, I'm trying to revamp him. I'm trying, but it's not working. He's going down in flames. And Mika is just... <laughs> See, this guy's going to give a blank check to the Supreme Court and going to use it to pass the, the, the 2025 agenda. You know, extreme danger. This guy's extremely dangerous. And but you notice he doesn't speak up for what he now what he really is for. He's all of a sudden realizing, oh my God, nobody's for what I'm for. But anyway, look. And again, think of the things he lied about. He said, talked about he gave the largest tax cut in history. Yeah, he gave the largest tax cut in history to millionaires and billionaires. He said that he's gonna. All right. So he goes on and on about that. However, I just wanted to um, shed some light on that. Uh, Joe Biden is going to have a very difficult time to come bounce back from this one. Now, people even within his party want him to go. Even the millionaires want him to go. They're like, we can't, we can't do anything. What you, Joe, bow out gracefully, gracefully. And just go ahead into the retirement home. Go play shuffleboard. Go spend time with Jill, the grandchildren. Let the politics or the political machine continue on. Yes, you were a big part of it. But right now, take a back seat and retire. Joe Biden's like, no, I'm not doubling down. So between that and Mika Brzezinski, I, I don't even know where to begin with that. That is a husband and wife going at it. And it was very, very interesting to watch. So what do you think? Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. On that note, I want to thank you for stopping by.